Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Saturday, April 11th. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's 4.34 p.m. Now, I would like to take, uh, I would like to share with you a couple of things out of Dawn's newsletter that I've been saving since April the 8th. Okay, yes, I'm behind. This is the 11th, and I'm still trying to, well, because I've been, you know, working on my table, and it's time-consuming, but I think I'm actually done. I'm letting the little touch-ups dry, and then I'm going to put it back in place, and my goal is a day ahead of time. Isn't that wonderful? The Lord helps me truly with all that I try to do. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. This first one is from Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Now this one is not a message from the Lord, it's a vision. And she gives her interpretation of it. But you leave, leave your interpretation. If the Holy Spirit lays it on your heart, that, that it means anything different. Okay? Because sometimes He'll give us something and we think it's... This is the meaning, but it's something else. Or close, but no cigar. Uh, hmm. I don't know if that's the right statement. But anyway, here we go. In a vision, I saw someone in a large open space waiting for atmospheric conditions to produce an updraft. The individual had a kite and kept testing the wind to see if the air quality was right to launch the kite. If you've ever flown a kite, you, you know, you'll understand that. I have. And yeah, you, you kind of, when you, feel, when you feel the wind going, you start running the way the wind is going and letting your kite go up and up and hopefully it won't fall right back down. That happens a lot if you don't catch it right. Now, here's her interpretation. I believe this vision represents us rising up in the realm of the spirit, which is pneuma or wind. Okay? Now, she didn't put that. I just remembered that from the Strong's Concordance. I'll look that up to make sure I'm right, but I'm pretty sure. All right, let's do it right now. Because otherwise, what I'm saying doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. All right, come on. All right. So, I'm just going to put Holy Spirit. Okay. We'll, um, we'll just click on Luke 11.13 and go to the word Spirit. If ye then, being evil, know how to give great gifts unto your children, how much more your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him. That's a good one. That's a lesson in itself. Alright, so Spirit is... Numa. It's G4151. And it means it's the third person of the triune God, the Holy Spirit, co equal, co eternal with the Father and the Son. Sometimes referred to in a way which emphasizes. His personality and character, the Holy Spirit. Sometimes referred to in a way which emphasizes His work and power, the Spirit of Truth. Okay, never referred to, <coughs> excuse me, as a depersonalized force. That's why I try really hard not to say the Holy Spirit because uh, 
I mean, yeah, the, because you could say the man, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you say the Son of God. I'm trying to think of an example. Well, you never refer to him as an it. Okay, let's just leave it at that. All right. Okay, down here at the end, it's called a movement of air, a gentle blast, a of the wind, hence the wind itself, b breath of nostrils or mouth. Okay, so uh, and under that, it, you get even more from G4151 a current of air. A breath see you need a current of air to get a kite up you see I, I get what she's saying or a breeze by analogy or figuratively a spirit for example human the rational soul by implication vital principle mental uh, and then it gets into stuff it an angel, demon, or divine God, Christ, spirit, the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's speaking of spirit, a spirit. So there are evil spirits, true. Yes, okay, let's go back. Okay, let me go back to the message. She says, I believe this vision represents us rising up in the realm of the spirit to get instructions for the right timing in certain life experiences. We must deliberately and continually test our discernment to see if we are in sync with the Spirit or not. If you get out of sync, if you get even a little off the straight and narrow, you open doors from to hear from the wrong kind of spirit okay all right so the the verse she uses is proverbs 2 verses 3 to 5 yes if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures. I wonder what vi version this is. I bet in the King James Version it doesn't say her. Oh well, I'm not getting into that discussion. If you seek, they're calling discernment a her. Probably it's a feminine noun. Okay, just so long as we understand. The Holy Spirit is not feminine. But if you seek for discernment, and it's saying if you seek her as silver, I would say it. If you seek for it as silver, and search for it as for hidden treasures, because discernment is an it. It's not a male or a female. It's a thing. It's a gift. It's an ability. If I have the ability to sing, I'm not going to call it a... Uh, her or him no matter what gender they assign to it I'm moving on okay search for it as for hidden treasures then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God I'm sorry I had not read the verse before or I would have already pulled up another version all right, now, this is from Brian Doyle. I've never heard of him. If you all know any history of him, let me know. But this is titled, My Church. It was given from July the 3rd of 2019 through July the 6th of 2019. So I guess he got it in different... <laughs> Different, at different times. Okay. My father has been speaking to me over the last few days. Those who allow their ears to be open will hear my words. 
the father first told me to go and re this is quote reread the beginning of Matthew 24 for this is the time in which my church is in unquote that's what he got back in 2019 in July now Matthew 7 7 ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you so if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit you're not yet you haven't received evidence of tongues you keep asking all right let me continue now here's another part my church my beloved how long will you seek out what you can see with your mortal eyes how long will you seek Baal that's an idol that can be seen how long will you listen with unholy ears ears which tickle you ears that can't discern what is right nor wrong beloved you seek out people who will heal you minister to you or direct you or govern you I have turned my face from you because you don't really believe in me you don't really believe I am the way the truth and the life that's in quotes because that's a direct quote from the Bible words of Jesus I am the way the truth and the life if you truly believed I am who I am you would seek me first but you seek me second or third I am your last resort Ooh, let's not do that brothers and sisters when I should be your only resort there see that when I should be your only resort there will be a time very soon when you will choose me or choose Baal and that was given last year okay can let me continue choosing me will lead to much persecution yea even death yeah for some that's true it has led to death like over in China and uh, North Korea and places like that so see not all prophecies you can say are oh that's wrong no nobody's being killed for pers for being a Christian here but they are elsewhere all right let me move on for I was beaten unrecognizable the pain almost unbearable but I endured to the end even so you must endure to the end few will endure most will quit at the beatings choosing Baal is the way you are living now the world is your friend you worship me once a week although you think it's worship it's a clanging bell to me I have warned you to not be conformed to this world but you do it anyway be not surprised when I vomit you out for you have chosen the easy path and justify that you know me but I don't know you for I know who are mine because they do my will that is a very harsh word from the Lord Sh truly not for all of us but for many people that won't even hear this I hope this message got put up 
on all kind of videos and in different blogs and Facebooks. And, uh, yeah, people, there's too many lukewarm Christians because they don't think they have to repent and that all their, they think all their sins are covered and they're good to go. And that's really sad. It saddens me and you know it angers the Lord. Well, that's the end of this one. Wait a minute. Okay, that's right. I, I pulled it back up. Um, oh, I didn't read this one. Okay, I'll just end this. I plead the blood of Jesus over this message, this video, over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. I pray that people will remember that we must get our instruction from God. Let the Holy Spirit be your teacher when you're reading your word and say you read a paragraph and you're like, what in the world does that mean? Pray about it. You may not get it right away. You may have to come back to it. I, I'm still, you know, I can read a chapter. Most of the time it's the Old Testament. And I'm like, what does that mean? Why did he do that? Why in the world? There are some things like I'm like, wow, that's really weird. Look, God, why did you have him do that? I cook his food over dung. Who was that? Isaiah? Uh, Ezekiel? I don't remember. One of those major prophets. It's really strange things. Anyway, don't want to get off the subject. You all have... A wonderful evening, and I pray that your Resurrection Day is blessed. And that you remember to keep it holy, as it is the Lord's Day. Now, I'm not telling you all. I know some of you keep sab the Sabbath, and that's fine. The Lord wants us to take one day out of seven. I have always taken Sunday, as that's the Lord's Day. But I pretty much keep every day alike. And that's okay too. According to what Paul taught. And since it's in the Bible, I consider it the inspired word of God. That he was inspired to write that. So, we don't discount everything Paul taught. Just because it goes against something we would rather do. Like keep the Sabbath. And that's fine. You do that. Shabbat Shalom to those of you who are, while it is still day, we have several hours of that. It's bright and sunny today, though we're expecting tornadoes tomorrow. So anyway, God bless each and every one of you, and let us always remember that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.